Yo, what is going on guys? Ray here, or Zerok, bringing you guys another quick commentary. And we got some Season 1 leaks for the new uh, Battle Pass. So I guess right now what we're considering in the game is Season 0, uh, which would make sense for level 0 to 155. And then they come out with more stuff for us throughout the year. I guess that's a way to keep the game fresh, uh, is what they're trying to do with it this year. But uh, we'll see what they're really, what they're really going to do with it. For you guys today, I have an MP7 gameplay on Shoot House. It's uh, Kill Confirmed. And yeah, I just wanted to go over the new Season 1 update that we're supposed to be getting. Uh, from the leaks that I saw, uh, we're supposed to be getting another remake of Crash. And I don't know how you guys feel about that. I feel like that's very lazy of them to do. Uh, we've had Crash in several Call of Duty games since Call of Duty 4. Uh, it came out in an MW2 map pack. Um... It's just been in plenty of Call of Duties. We had it in Modern Warfare Remastered. It's just, to me, an overplayed map. Uh, I feel like we should just stop with the COD 4 maps already. I don't know. I feel like that's going to be like a negative thing for a lot of people in the community. But for me, I feel like those maps, they're just old at this point. Um, we've seen them. We've played them. And I just don't know how much more life they really have in them. Uh, for example... Crash, you know, it, it's the same map. It's not going to change. And if they did change it, we'd complain about that too because, you know, you can't change the original map. That's just not what you do. <laughs> I wish they would, like, move on, though, from the original Modern Warfare and maybe go to MW2 and give us some maps back from that game. Um, I'd love to see Invasion. I'd love to see Scrapyard. Uh, High Rise. Uh, what else is there? Shit, I'd love to see the whole MW2 just map set put, put into the game, <laughs> but that's just me. That's my favorite game. Uh, there's some MW3 maps I could put in this bitch too, but I just doubt that we'll see that at this point. I apologize for my dogs barking. <laughs> Apparently someone is here. But yeah, uh, the season update really revolved around a lot of operator updates from what it looked like. Uh, those COD points that you guys got with the non-standard version of Call of Duty uh, will now have a use, it seems like. Uh, which is only going to be operator use. Which makes sense. And uh, overall, I just don't see that being like that big of an effect on the game. I don't care about what my operator really looks like. In a 100% honest fashion. I could give two shits what my character looks like, and I'm definitely not paying for character upgrades, so... I don't see that really being that big of a selling point for many people in the game. But then again, I might be stupid and not see it, and you guys totally care what your operator looks like. For me, that doesn't matter. Um, I hope they give us more guns. I had heard something about them bringing the TAR back, but we already have an MTAR. Maybe it's the TAR-21? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I've heard we, we're we going to be getting the UMP and the Intervention as well, which those are hype as shit. I'm hyped to get the Intervention back any day they offer that. Um, in my opinion, that that's going to be a huge, huge weapon in the game. If they bring it back and it has the same stats it used to, we're going to see a lot more sniping again. Especially if it has the old aim down sight speed that it used to. Like, What I think they should do is put it into the game with what was Sleight of Hand Pro. Which allowed you to aim ADS faster and shit, and reload faster. I think that gun should m maybe be like a high level unlock, or you have to do challenges to get it when they put it in the game. And that way people know, like, that's the sniper rifle that you're going to die all the time to with one bullet. And I'd be cool with that, because, like, we played Modern Warfare 2 on its whole life cycle like that. When it comes down to it, though, uh, hopefully we see... And AK-74U, like an actual real one, not just like a modified AK-47. Um, I, I, I don't know what else they'll put in the game, but these are just early things. And the other map I've heard they're bringing back for us is going to be wet work. But it's not going to be the original wet work. It's going to be the inside of wet work from um, the Call of Duty 4 mission. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But that'd be pretty cool to see a map on the inside of wet work that moves very quickly. Um... I just hope they figure out a way to light it better, because I'm assuming the inside of that ship, from from the mission I remember, it was a very dark mission, uh, lighting-wise. So I hope they do something to, you know, light the map up a little bit, maybe. Maybe make it like a, 
a so-called nighttime map, but inside the ship is the lights on. These are just simple things I'm thinking for the developer to do to make that map more enjoyable for us. Uh, but hopefully we get more than two maps. I know for a fact we're definitely going to get a 2v2 map, and we're definitely going to get a ground war map. At least that's what I'm thinking. Unless Kravnik Farms was their first ground war map, and they're going to skip one in the first season one pass. But I have a feeling for, for sure we're going to get um, a 2v2 map, which is fine. You know, I think there's only six of them or seven of them in the game. And uh, it'd definitely be nice to have a few more options in that respect. But yeah, uh, the season one update. Let me know what you guys think. What would you like to see in the game? I'm definitely interested to see uh, what they end up doing because, you know, there's been a lot of complaints and a lot of things in this game we'd like to see and haven't. So what do you guys want to see in the Season 1 update? Do you want to see more weapons? More maps? I, I definitely want more maps. I know that for a fact. I want like 5 or 6 maps. It, it'd be cool if they doubled the map count for like all modes. And with a development team that size, I don't see how it's not possible. If they worked on maps and have them ready already, like for the rollout, that'd be awesome. I just hope they're not these gigantic bullshit maps they've been giving us. Because as of right now, the situation we're in... Uh, Shoot House is honestly one of the only enjoyable maps for me to play when it comes to playing this game. Uh, certain aspects of this have gotten really old. Uh, the one thing that's made this game feel really old right off the rip is we have so few maps to actually play that it just feels very repetitive and like you're playing the same game over and over and over again um, on the same maps. And that gets pretty annoying, to be completely honest. Um, when you play the same six maps, you find like things about them you don't like very quickly. Um, for example, I won't play Euphrates Bridge in this game. I back right out if I get into a lobby of Euphrates Bridge. I refuse to play that map, honestly. I think that map sucks. I think it's the worst Call of Duty, one of the worst Call of Duty maps ever created. And. I hope quickly we resume the three lane map build. When it comes down to it, the developers of this game need to recognize we want old school three lane maps, not these weird uh, three line of sight maps that they've been giving us for the past couple years, but it's all right. We'll see what's coming. Let me know down below what you guys want to see in the season one update. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll be back with a more consistent update tomorrow. Uh, I apologize if there's a lot of background noise in this video. I had to record this morning instead of last night because I passed the fuck out. Have a good day, guys. Peace.